girls in the mess But she's from Nicaragua If I choose Persian love Are we turning up? Or are we wasting time? Girl, don't waste my time, no So y'all, I'm over here looking uh, not ready yet. So remember I told y'all, I thought I said I was gonna go out last night for the boxing match, the Spencer car, didn't go. Baby, that water park will your girl at, okay? I am just getting up like an hour ago, maybe two hours. So what I'm about to do is go to brunch at Lucille's with a friend, my friend Stephanie, and we're gonna eat brunch and then we're going to a pop-up shop um, for this uh, girl's clothing brand. It's called uh, Tea Drobes or something. I believe I'm saying it right, but she has like those pants that everybody be getting like with the zipper, the zipper on it. I think that's like her signature thing. She got like zippers on her dresses and stuff like that and rompers. Uh, she got nice clothes, but my friend is the one who really wanted to go and needed somebody to go with. So I was like, girl, I ain't doing nothing. So let's go. We, need, we needed to hang out anyway, and I needed some content as well. So what I'm about to do is do a quick one-two on this makeup. Y'all already know. Baby, it ain't finna be nothing too crazy, baby. Just a little under the eye on the cheeks a little on the chin i'm about to do these baby hairs first though because every time i do my baby hairs and the makeup is done it's like it blends in with it so i'm gonna go ahead and get this out of the way and get ready for a little sunday fun day oh also after that i might go to this place called social house it's in willowbrook and where i'm about to go is about to be midtown yeah, I'm about to go to Midtown, y'all. And then, yeah, I'll show y'all the finishing look once I'm done, because I need to hurry up. All right, y'all. This is the final look. I got my Wednesday shirt from Walmart yesterday. $10. It was like they got a lot of graphic tees for $9.98. I got my sheen necklace, my jewelry from James Avery, of course. Balenci bag. Black and white dunks, and my pants are from Pretty Little Thing. But that's it, I gotta go. Got the chicken and waffles, mac and cheese, and shrimp and grits. And pork, and pork. <laughs> and here's my friend Stephanie. This mac and cheese is so good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little dash. Like I got somebody like ended me in like the parking lot of the CBS. So I had to like it's hard to fix, but like um, y'all, my friend Stephanie had to give me her little fan, y'all. Get her right. Get, to get me right up in here. Right. Y'all, these mimosas, baby. When I tell you, the bottle is gone. <laughs> the bottle is gone, sweetie. Uh, we got some Paul Chevlier, Brooks, Blanc de Blanc. And I can talk like that because I've been to France, baby. baby Look, I know how they be talking. And, she a bottle girl. and, and I'm a bottle girl. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, guys. I recommend Lucille's. Lucille's was a 10 out of 10. The mimosas got us lit. Talk about parking. Parking about on the street, boo. But they do have valet. But I guess we got here a little bit late. So valet was closed by the time we got here. Which was unfortunate. Not you in the bushes. Now I'm going to have to wait for you to pull up. <laughs> Baby, I was not trying to get my... Baby, in the bushes. In front of the, uh, behind if, the Mercedes so they don't tow it from the front. Oh, yeah. <laughs> be smart. You got to be smart when you're parking on the street, okay? But we're about to head to the pop-up shop now, y'all. And, yeah, the food was so good. The mac and cheese was the highlight of my day. It really was. We made it, y'all. We had to park in front of somebody's house. But we made it. As we expected, we knew it was gonna be parking problems. It is so many people here, literally. Like, look at the parking lot. And then all the cars on the street. Now somebody is then parked somewhere and can't get the hell out. I am recording. Hello. Thank you, sir. Good and you. God bless you, bro. It's not all the way up yet, but this is the name of the brand. Yeah, 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 I know get time I did that, but that The dark over my face calling me like, but that Biggie man, we know they wear a bad Let me tell me, what's it come? Do you want to go? Oh, the bed, the cat, 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 the Make you know say anything when you do, they must commend it. I can't come and be myself. So anything when they do, I they try to change to I'm I can't come and be myself. Plenty, 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 so far we be fish. Just to make your money. Yeah. But my people don't go say I know one buy, I know one buy, I know one women. I want enjoy, I want job life, I want buy metal, I want build house, I still want to know. Let me tell me, what's it going? Hey boo, so I just left up out of Tordrobe's pop-up shop. Um, I loved the way it was set up in there. Um, she had an open bar for free drinks and you can tip the bartenders. Also, I got a lemon drop, of course. But I, uh, fix this. I didn't get anything because I really only came here with my friend to support her and get what she needed. I think she spent like 200 and something dollars like on two pieces. So the stuff is really good quality things, but they are not, um, like if you don't wanna spend over $50 on something, you might as well not even buy from her because everything is over $50. But the quality is really good. I love the pieces and her models that were there. I really loved it. I, I wasn't just the type of person to just do everything that everybody does, you know? It was so packed, it was getting so packed in there and it was getting busy. And I see her outfits all the time. I'm just not the type of person to do what everybody does, you know? So, but if maybe in the near future, I'll probably get some. I also felt like I want, I want to wear her pieces in the future when i am the weight size that i want to be i don't want to wear something that expensive and i don't look good in it you know so i kept my 85 dollars in my pocket yes i sure did but i rented to somebody y'all i don't know if y'all remember for my birthday my fur hat that i had on i just ran into the girl who i bought the fur hat from she is from dallas i believe because when I look at her Instagram and stuff, I think it says Dallas, Texas, like her P.O. box. So she's from Dallas, but 
she came out here to go to the pop-up shop and i'm like look at me over here networking and we took a picture and stuff she was like let's take a picture she was so sweet her name is kenzie and i'm gonna drop her uh, boutique on here too because she was so sweet and i'm gonna drop the boutique of the uh the designer the girl pop-up shop we just came from i don't know her real name but i know her brand name is tour droves that's what i know but yeah I think we headed to go to a bar or something and get a little drink or something, y'all. So, y'all, while I find myself at Trez Bistro and Wine Bar, I'm um, about to get absolutely lit. I'm waiting on Stephanie to get out the car. But I don't mind getting me some little Moscato or some. Um, for that pretty sure they got more than wine, though, so we gonna see what they got up in here. So guys, I changed my mind and Stephanie was like are we gonna go somewhere else because this is about to close at six and um i want to hold you up but yeah i was like girl you know what Fuck it. we ball like we at the hookah lounge i just parked my car and i am about to go in stephanie's parking now and yeah i'm ready to smoke a little shisha boo and have me another drink and then another one okay because that's what sunday fun day is all about and i posted my video already today y'all check out that video it is july 30th the video has been posted be on the lookout for next sunday i post every sunday you guys every sunday yes ma'am yes, ma yes, ma make, <laughs> make that content look she she been my uh second manager today y'all been telling me okay you need to record this you need to record that you need to get that over there so i'm like okay yes ma'am yes ma'am but we about to go in now so i'm gonna see how the vibes look in and i know the hookah better be hitting your bitch, the only thing we had to free our mind. Free our mind. Free our mind. that verse when we see dollar signs. See dollar signs. See dollar signs. You looking like an easy come up, your bitch. Your bitch. A silver your spoon, bitch. I know you come from your bitch. Your bitch. And that's a lifestyle that we never knew. We never knew. Go at a rabbit for the rabbit. And go. Holly Berry or Holly Blue. Pick your poison, tell me what you do. Hey boo, so y'all, first of all, let me take these glasses off, baby, but the glasses is eating though, eating, eating you bitches up, but anyways, <laughs> Anyways, y'all, I had a good Sunday fun day today. I went to Lucille's, had a nice little brunch. Mac and cheese was macking. I went to the tea drove tour droves. I don't know why I keep saying it wrong. Tour droves pop up shop. And my friend Stephanie bought some stuff. I didn't. I didn't buy anything. I told y'all that. And after that, we went to Trez Wine Bar. That was black owned. Yep, lemon drop was hitting, and after that we went to Azusa Hookah Lounge. Hookah wasn't doing too much hitting for me, but the drinks was good, and I spilled my drink too, y'all. So that what what that let you know that I ain't need it. That was God talking to me right there. I ain't say hey, I spill my drink. Could y'all make me another one? I ain't say a word. I just let it go. I had to because I was like, this is this is like literally giving me a sign, like no, no more to drink Majesty, no more. But y'all, I ran into. Did I tell y'all the girl that did? Oh, I did tell y'all about the girl that did my fur hat. I'm like, I know I've been talking to y'all all day, but I just got me some. Me and my mama some Popeyes, baby. Them coupons on the app. Do you are kin? Because I didn't spend twenty two dollars and we got like three. A chicken meal, a tender meal, and we got some ghost pepper wings. And they got this new uh thing up in here. It's the Oreo cheesecake cup. 
So yeah, I definitely got that because I like cheesecake and I like Oreos. So why not blend it on together? But I'm pulling up to my house in just a second. And I think I'm gonna call it a night tonight, you all. I love you guys and thank you guys for watching. But this vlog is, let me see, what's today, Sunday? Oh, this was the start of a new vlog today. Yes, every Sunday I start a new one. I'm tripping. I almost ended it. No, I need to start this as the new one. Okay, get it together, man. Just to get it together. Okay, y'all. I'm gonna have to add that. Uh, add me an intro in the beginning <laughs> to let people know who I am and what I do. But that's it for today, y'all. I love y'all. Bye. Hey, booze. I'm just getting out the house. My mom is waiting for me downstairs. We are about to go and run some errands, I believe, and um, look for more apartments because we want to stay in like Montrose, Midtown, River Oaks area, uh, the Heights, the Med Center, Medical Center, anywhere, Museum District, all that. That's the best area to stay in in Houston. You buy everything, you close to every single thing that's important too. But yeah, we're headed there now. And I got some returns to do for Amazon that I have not did yet. So we headed to go do that now. And probably stop and get a little, little snack or something. I made it to Smoothie King. Hello, how can I help you? Uh, can you give me one second, please? I just like so guys, I got a acai bowl. I got the Go Goji, Go Go Goji Crunch. And it come with berries and granola, strawberries. And I also got a, a mango added. Y'all, this little thing is about, ooh, about $12. Oh, it has got Goji berries on there too. Nice. So I'm gonna see what it's hidden for. Look good. Blueberries, granola. I got, oh, I need a mango. To get a new bite. Everything. <laughs> yeah. Good. Okay, Smoothie King. Smoothie King. They look high tail. Okay, Smoothie Queen. Smoothie Queen. Yeah, they did this. I guess it's worth $12. <laughs> <laughs> 11 But my mama actually had the app. And got $4 off the tail. It was $20. And then went down to 16 Oh, that's good. So I basically took two dollars off her drink and two dollars off my bowl. We taste a little bit. Mm-hmm. Help yourself, darling. I just want the acai. Mmm. So good. And they drew the honey on there too, mm -hmm. y'all. Mmm. It's refreshing. I like that. Yes. So this kind of like going to hold me over because I was a little, a little hungry. <laughs> so do we have lunch now? We're going to have to have lunch later. Yeah. More than likely. I mean, you drinking the smoothie right now? Yeah, I am. You're not gonna be Plus, hungry. We got some errands to run, so I'm we can go do what we got to do first. Then, so y'all, Chili said messed up on our order about uh two months ago, I think a month ago. Yeah. And they gave us a fifteen dollar gift card, but of course you can only use the fifteen dollar gift card in the inside because we didn't have plenty curbside orders since. They want you to and dine. They in. want you to dine in and use it. Like, come on now. But anyway, so we're gonna see if we even go to chilies. I, I really not craving chilies, but I just thought about the fifteen dollar gift card that we need to get rid of. So yeah. we're gonna see. But we run finna go run to these apartments first. Okay guys, so we made it to the apartments and they are closed right now. They're nice. 
I like this already. Coming in like a hallway. Oh, this is nice. We'll have carpet in the bedrooms and this is pretty small, huh? Yeah, this is not no closet, baby. Nah. Huge balcony. It wraps around. I would know what to do with This is the second bedroom. Bathroom. With the stand up shower. And you can still get to the kitchen this way. And here's the closet. Oh, that way I guess you can use that. Let's get another view of the kitchen. Yeah, I like it. There's the pool. The pool looks nice. Two girls. Two girls and ice machine. It's so nice. The plumbing machines. Oh, yeah. And then we do have a resident lounge right this way as, as well. Um, One second and here is the residence room where you can come in and shoot pool, have a cup of coffee, have some friends over. They have a poker room too. That's so cool. Business center in the front, conference room in the back. So here is the third apartments now, y'all. Let's see what they're talking about. Here's the second one. Okay. This apartment is available for immediate movement. Okay. So. This is one that both office attends, so. Oh, wow. Yeah. This is so pretty. It's a nice good kitchen with a kitchen island. The most part two bedroom plans do come with outdoor sun windows. And for outdoor sun windows, so many very large windows there. And this is the primary pattern here. Primary? It just feels so clean and crisp in here, y'all. Now, this is a closet, boo. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get into it. This is the secondary room. And look at this bathroom. Oh. It's so pretty. Look at my, look at my future closet, y'all. The shower. Now this is a closet. Yes. Like, come on now. I don't even have to bring my shelf in here. I can just be adding stuff. It's like this, this apartment. I already know what I want. This is like the first pool of the day, and then we have the second one back there. So, and it's the number of prosperity. So, yes, so here's the the courtyard. The fall time. <laughs> yeah, so this is our quiet courtyard. So, um, all this equipment, towels, of course, are provided uh, to residents and their guests. Nice. And then we do have a uh, yoga room. I definitely don't want to touch the gym again. I only really went two days in a row and my whole body hurts right now. <laughs> I did legs and arms and I just feel like. Yeah, it's super nice. It's almost like a resort. Right. Uh, the fire over here does turn on automatically. So uh, every evening you do a nice fire. Especially nice in the fall and winter. And it's like, uh, With some friends on the TV. Really cool. Yeah, then you know you can watch friends, of course. Right. So this is personally my favorite part to relaxing. Uh, 
can see the HD, uh, the customer's part, better people walking. Here's the view. Uh, oh, here's the apartment name, too. Some true barbecue, too, so. I don't know if you guys want to go to the Of course, yes. Conference so room. What's up? You can do your own items now. Just print it out. And you can label it and drop it in the box now, y'all. Ain't that crazy? And you just drop it here. And then I have one more to do. And I hit confirm. So I scan the next one. I hit. I get one of these bags. Y'all have never seen this, but see, this is what happens when you come over here to the Heights and then River Oaks. Hey, booze. We're about to head to the stores today. Where we going, girl? We're going to, we going to HEB. I may need to go to Walmart or Kroger. They're going to my auntie, y'all. I may need to go oh, let my seat up, girl. And we're going to the HEB that is close to the Woodlands. Oh Lord, it be getting on my nerves, but I gotta go in there and, and get what I need to cook. So, go this way to the left, to the beltway. Gonna jump on the beltway so we can get there quicker. So let me tell y'all what I'm gonna cook. I'm gonna cook me some oxtails over some cauliflower fried rice. And I got me some fresh garlic cloves. I'm gonna throw in there. I need me some uh, onion. I already have bell peppers at home. And I'm gonna do me some greens and turkey necks. I already got that. And I'm gonna do some mac and cheese, y'all. My mac and cheese be blessing. Do you hear me? I need some time. But it's like, this is just too much. I don't know how much I need, but I guess I should just go ahead and, and go ahead and get it, y'all. I've been looking at some little recipes and stuff. Uh, I've seen the recipe that Jay Nice do. Oh, this one, $1.98. I'm gonna do this one instead. It's $1.98 for this one. And then the organic one is $2.98. So I'm gonna put that back. Cause I don't, I've never even cooked with time before. Time, time, I'm just gonna do what I do with it. So we are gonna see how everything goes. I need one white onion. This one looked the best to me. Get all this little stuff off. I just need one to chop it up. And here is the one habanero pepper I need, y'all. I literally only need one. That's what Jay Nice did, so that's what I'm gonna do. One. Drop it in the bag. Uh, one is all you need, baby. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> I also need two limes. Let's see. Yeah, I just need two to clean off the oxtails. Want a green looking one and then one that's kind of light. But I just needed two small lemons. Look, I meant to say limes, but where are we headed to now? Let's go look at the meat. I need to go check out the meat to see how much these oxtails cost, honey? Cause them oxtails will run you something, but they be so good once they done being cooked. I ain't gonna lie. It ain't nothing like some Jiffy cornbread. And also I gotta get me one of these pans. So of course I got my Olipops. I got a strawberry and vanilla a classic grape and a tropical punch. I love these so much. I love the panty liners at H-E-B and I got my Q-tips too. I got me some Dove and it got $2 off for a coupon right now. So we have finished y'all. I still gotta go get one more thing from Walmart, the browning sauce for the oxtails and that's it.
once I get everything and get home, I'm gonna show y'all everything. Actually, I needed to make a little stop for the shaved ice. I got strawberry and Bahama Mama. I got my mama. What I got you? I don't know, but it's good as hell. Uh, pina colada, black cherry, and fruit punch. And I can't remember my Amy's, her third one. I got her uh, vanilla, mango, and something else. I just can't remember what they good. And they're $4, and they're huge. Look how big this is for $4. I've seen people in the line ordering uh the biggest one oh, it's nice. one called the big kahuna and this is the short board they call and they got one called the long board i'm like jesus christ so i just figured out what i got her y'all i got my amy vanilla tiger's blood and mango that's what i got i got i told y'all what i got strawberry and bahama mama and i got my mama uh pina colada what else? Shit, yeah, I am messing up again. But she's talking about shit. I don't know. <laughs> it's very pina colada, fruit punch, and black cherry. Because I know she like the black cherry when we go to our other shaved ice place. Jeremiah's Italian ice. Y'all got to try that. It's really good. All right, y'all. Let's do a little quick one, one, two. A quick run through. Pepper plates, bowls, oxtails, green onions. Heavy whipping cream. What's these? Peaches or nectarines? Nectarines. nectarines. Some of these right here. My mom and my mama's. Some limes to clean off the oxtails. Uh, some chips. Some little chips, you know. Stuff we don't need. Some cheese. We got some Cajun turkey in the mix. You know the Jiffy. I seen that. My little deodorant. This is my favorite. Got some Olipops on deck, some Dove, some cookies, some macaroni, the Worcestershire sauce. I found the browning sauce, y'all, when I just went in Walmart. And I also got these cute little plates from Walmart, too. Only 50 cents, boo. And I got my little panty liner, some forks and spoons, Q-tips, a little onion, and the pico de gallo and guacamole. Now, I got to put some of this stuff in the fridge until I take my shower, and then I'm going to start cooking. Okay, y'all. So I took my shower. I already started taking off the green ones. So I'm just like pulling it, taking some off the stem. I wash my hair too. Finally. Oh, like it's just a task. It is a task to wash hair. Do you hear me? This is exactly why I pay people. What is this? I don't know what that is, but I took it off. Oh, wrong way. Put this over here, but yes, y'all. So, I'm gonna wash these greens off. Start on the turkey next. I'm gonna go ahead and clean off the oxtails too with the lime and the vinegar. And what else? The mac and cheese is like so easy. And the cornbread. I forgot about the cornbread. That's the last thing that I can cook, y'all. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Taking it stem by stem. Pulling this off. It's actually kind of easy. I used to watch my grandmother do this when I was a little kid. Actually, both of my grandmas. But mostly my grandma on my dad's side, I used to stay in the kitchen with her while she was cooking. Always, I always stayed in the kitchen with her. And my favorite thing she used to cook was uh, roast. Oh, it used to be so good and tender and juicy. So yeah, that's how these oxtails gonna be hitting. They're gonna be good and tender and juicy. Both of my grandmas know how to cook though. That's why I know how. And my mama and my Amy taught me some stuff too. So yeah. Get these greens done and washed off.
Okay, guys, so I cleaned off my oxtails with some lime and vinegar, baby. And here is the bell pepper, onion, green onion, garlic, thyme, and it's a habanero pepper. And I have my turkey mix in here boiling already. Um, the potatoes over here, I already um, cut them. And the greens are clean. This water is not dirty no more. I cleaned about five times. Ooh, this is this what hard labor is? Cause I don't like it. Okay, guys. So I got me some garlic powder, onion powder, fajita seasoning, paprika, paprika, prep, paprika. Why am I uh, getting twisted? Black pepper. I got some uh, browning seasoning sauce and some Worcestershire sauce. And my mama over there cutting up my bell peppers and onions and stuff. My mama cut up those bell peppers, onions, green onions, garlic, and the habanero pepper. Really nice and cute. Thanks. Bye. She was my sous chef. So your girl just blow dried her hair. Yeah, and it's giving. Hair long, money long. <laughs> that's what it's giving it's giving hair long money long and Hallelujah. and blessed and highly favored <laughs> yep so oh let me show y'all the oxtails and stuff how long how long just a second all right y'all i'm browning them on each side you know Give me good and uh, seared. Yes. Mmm. Mmm. Show y'all these greens. Ooh, that stuff hot, y'all. I can't. Now, this got to cook like another two hours. And then I'm starting on my mac and cheese and my cornbread. Yeah. And then that's it. Getting these mashed potatoes together, y'all. Okay, so now I got the cornbread whipping. I'm trying to get this little, little rock, this little rocky part. Y'all, excuse the kitchen. This is a work in progress. I'm boiling my water for the noodles. Mac and cheese is done. I mean, mashed potatoes done. Greens is on low. And oxtails are still oxtail, baby. Now let's add the honey on the cornbread, y'all. A little swirl here, a little swirl there. Here we go, y'all. I put the cheese sauce in there. I make it from heavy whipping cream, some seasoning, and some shredded cheese and butter. Yes, look at that. Just some creamy mac and cheese. All right. All right, booze. I finished and it is 12.49 a.m., y'all. I got my oxtails over some mashed potatoes, cornbread, some mustard greens and collard greens with uh, smoked turkey necks. And I got my Gouda mac and cheese bussing. Look at that mac and cheese. Look how it came out, y'all. Just... Look at it. Hey, booze. We're back this morning, top of the morning. We just came from some more apartments. Now we're headed to a little brunch at Toasted Yolk. I never ate here before. So here is Toasted Yolk right here, y'all. Um, Close to Washington Avenue. We headed in now. So here we go. This will be working with y'all. I don't know what I'm going to get yet. I'm really a little French toast girly, but you pick. Right? We gonna see. So I got the French toast, y'all, with some sausage patties and some bacon and hash brown casserole and some fruit. My mama got some fruit, hash brown casserole. I'm gonna open them, mama. Okay. With some brick. Ooh, some brisket tacos. And I'm gonna order me a mimosa. Thank you. 
I also ordered me a strawberry orange mimosa and it looked like it's so good. Ooh. Not the orange almost fell in my face. It was cute though. Oh, that orange good. Y'all, toast the yolk, 10 out of 10. I definitely recommend it. Like, I'm already getting a little full, but I'm glad I just got one piece of French toast bread because the plate I was going to get came with three, and I definitely was going to have to take some home. Like, it just wasn't. I'm getting full already. And the mimosa is really good. The strawberry and orange mimosa is really good. Hey, boo. So, y'all, listen to this. My hair's a mess. But I'm about to go out with my friend, Nosa. Um, did I? I think y'all seen it for Valentine's Day. We went out for Valentine's Day. We went out plenty of times, but she was one of the, one of my friends that was with me for Valentine's Day. But y'all, I'm wearing my cute little shorts and my pretty little thing, um, T-shirt. So right now, let me fix this bra. So right now, I am about to do this hair. As you can see, it's horrible, y'all. My mom was getting on me telling me that your hair is dry. You cannot do your beautiful, voluptuous long hair like that. And she not lying. So uh, I'm finna put some Camille. And what else? Definitely some eco gel. Like, come on now. Some Camille. Eco. Let me see what else I got in here, y'all. I honestly don't even know. No, what all I got up in here? Oh, I got some more Camille. And let's get into some, some Miel, too. Leave-in conditioner. Miel. I mean, this is like, it's okay. It's like, I don't know what it does. Like, it's kind of like watery when it comes out. So, I was like, I don't even get what's the purpose of what it's doing. But, yeah. I got these lashes on. I wish I had some extensions. Because these long, ghetto-looking lashes, no. I almost went like I went last weekend. When I went to the pop-up shop, no lashes. Just sunglasses. and still look good. I'm feeling like I'm going to do that. But... I'm gonna get into this hair first. Put some products in here. Baby, this hair right here. Mm -mm. It's just too much for me, y'all. But it's gonna be even more of an issue because it's gonna get longer than this, child. I ain't cutting my hair no more. And this color on my head, that red then came out, y'all. This is my real, like, natural color. It's like two tones. I'm going to put some of this leave-in condition. See how it's coming out? Like, it's a little watery. But it do smell good. Well, no, I lied. But mostly all of me else stuff be smelling good, baby. I don't want my hair to be too wet because I am going to probably do a wet pony. And, yeah. Use my Camille to put some. Oh, I forgot I had this. This really for like what I do twist outs and wear my hair curly. That's what I should have did. I should have been did this, but I thought I was gonna flat iron my hair. And when I went outside in the heat today, I rethought everything about flat ironing some hair. So yeah, I'm stuck with moisturizing it every day. Okay, y'all, this is the finished look. I wet my ponytail, did a little wet and go. I did my baby hairs. I got all my jewelry on from Shein, literally. I'm going to throw my Apple Watch on on this hand. Uh, but I put the gold accessories on because I have the Tory Burch on. And my Tory Burch slides. I love these. They're comfortable. My pretty little thing shirt and my Forever 21 shorts. I wore these before. They so comfortable. I love Forever 21 jeans and stuff. But yeah, this is the fit, y'all. And now I got some backup clothes just in case they won't let me in with this on. 
I got some little black biker shorts and my Como des Garcons. If y'all don't know what that is, that's them little chucks with the red heart. But yeah, this is it. See you in a minute. She bought a flat man on her hands, cat. She bought a tame man on her hands, cat. Nigga can't even see me on her hands, cat. She bought a flat man on her hands, cat. She bought a flat man on her way out of here. She bought a flat nigga can't even see me on her way out of here. I'm too far in the sky. Heard me his ass for the dog, my ass. Bitch, so pretty, look better than cancer. Puffin' on Zooters and she callin' me daddy. Walkin' on shit, turn it up and I guess. Came out the car and ain't never me to swag it. Secure the bag, got a bitch, I'ma beg it. Turnin' it up, got a make sure she good. Parker two mil in the middle of my hood. Makin' no mud, I made out of the sewer. Grown hard and sense me, do that one good. Out of these niggas, they lookin' the same. They copy my lingo, they bite my chain. Championship, championship, I just gon' empty shit. Bitch, break a nigga to the lick at the key. Turn it up, found them, but make it a counter to bring me this money like this. I'm religion. This could be a man, they're sad if you're in a deep nigga. They try to compare with him, but I did. Them that touched on hundreds of bitches up the gig. That came out the jungle, they kidnapped the kid. I turned by the bellows, bitch, on the crib. But look at the ocean, it's right through the end. Ain't no one met the city I'm in. I keep me no fun, ain't no matter what I'm in. I have to touch an edge, you don't think you can read. You fuck with me good, bitch, you can't be win. Niggas can't see me, ain't no competition. Okay, y'all, so. Ratio was a vibe. I like the hookah, the food was good. Everything came out promptly, you know. It was just like a little eating hookah vibe, like elegant, like luxury. That's what it's giving. Now, we just came from Nomad, the new location in Midtown, y'all. And y'all see, did I show y'all the press on? Yes, I put the press on in the parking lot of Ratio, y'all. <laughs> Period. This bitch just ain't fucking with me. Okay, so listen, y'all. I'm, we at the Nomad in Midtown. We went to Nomad in Midtown. So, boom. They talking about 150 deposits just to sit down. We looking around like, baby, it's just us three. Hold on. No, 200. 200 uh, spending fee. So, we like, okay. Then we start seeing people walking in behind us. And they was in like pairs of two. And they was just like, oh, they looking at each other like, let's go, let's go. And I said, oh, well, if y'all want to sit with us, we can all just spend the 200. Boom. Those people start bailing now because they was just like, nah, we we ain't finna do all that. Like, we really don't know each other and all that kind of stuff. And I was just like, yeah, I understand. Because shit, I don't know y'all either. And I don't know what y'all gonna do. But anyways, so as we getting the people together, the, the random people that we did not know, so we can sit down for $200, the lady, the server comes up and was like, well, it's a $150 deposit that goes towards it. And I said, that doesn't go... That goes towards the couch. I said, well, that doesn't go towards the 200. She's like, no. And I'm like, uh, well, you, you could have led with that. Like, seriously. You the one came out of nowhere talking about to spend 200, spend 200. Then, boom, when we start gathering our people together for the $200, then you want to hit us with, oh, it's $150 deposit. So, basically, it's 350 which you should have said that from the jump. So, we was able to find this guy that we know, uh, Nosa, my friend Nosa, her friend China knew somebody that was in there and we went to go sit down with the guy and boom y'all she came up some other lady came up to us was like did y'all reserve this and they was like no they just did a walk-in the guys that we were sitting with and she was like oh well this is reserved and somebody's coming at 10 o'clock it's 10 44 somebody's coming at 10 o'clock and this is reserved so i'm like you know what let's just get out of here <laughs> like seriously Y'all is so money hungry at these damn lounges and stuff. Like, $150 to go. Even sections do it. $150, $200 deposits that go towards just a couch that people stand on every weekend. Like, it's bad enough y'all already charging for bottles that are overpriced. Then you charging just to sit down on the couch. Sweetie, it's over. So we at Cafe Mawal Express on West Time. It's a hookah lounge. It's BYOB as well. And it seems very much chill. So when I get in here, I'm going to see the vibes. But I got to use the restroom first. I have to pee so bad. I'm going to pee first. And then, boom, uh, I'm going to go in. And then, yeah, we're going to see how this go up in here now.
As y'all can see, people is literally like parking lot pimping. Cafe Mahal, baby. Yeah. DJ Greg the Gemini on Saturdays and Sundays. Shit be so lit. What's up, boo? So, y'all, I got me some water bottle. So, you can get Yes, thank you so much. You too. <coughs> Ooh, y'all. I've been having this little bad cough. Okay, so for real, y'all, Cafe Mawal, yeah, 10 out of 10. Highly, highly recommend in Houston, Texas. Saturday nights, boo boo. It's BYOB hookah. Let me tell you how much my hookah costs tonight $11. Now, y'all know them hookahs be damn near $100. $100. Nah, but y'all, the hookah was. Hitting for eleven dollars, yeah. Give me all the hookah for eleven dollars. We bought our own bottle from Specs. I had a really good time. It was just three of us. Um, we enjoyed ourselves making friends. I was telling people hit the link in my bio, subscribe to my YouTube, and yeah, I just want to let y'all know I love y'all. Thank you for watching. I want to thank all my supporters out there. Um, I just be so happy to make this content for y'all. Like, it really makes my day, my nights, my everything. And I need to start getting more serious. I, I'm serious, but y'all, I've been lazy. And I need to get out of that funk of, like, just chilling. Like, I just be so at home, be laying down, napping, like just eating just like oh my gosh i still be vlogging but i i need to focus on like my shorts and my reels and my tiktoks too to get people to engage because i kid you not every time i post a short i gain subscribers every time it never fails i gained a subscriber today literally from posting two shorts so my mom is my manager she's trying to get me to post three shorts and three reels and three tiktoks a day like just constantly non-stop so yeah that's my goal y'all to get even more content out for y'all on every platform but i love y'all this is the end of this vlog i'm headed home with my water burger and thank y'all for watching goodbye boos.